Okay, so now we're talking about lower body stability. So lower body stability is so important because we need to be able to disassociate our lower body and upper body. If we don't have a, a strong and stable lower body, when we rotate our upper body, our lower body is going to come with us. If we can actually separate those and keep that stable base, it's really going to help your golf swing. So there's a couple exercises that I'm going to show you today. The first one is actually a wall set. So we're going to get Robin to come over to the wall and he's going to get down in this position and try to create that 90 degrees, make sure his lower back is pushed up against the wall and he's going to hold this. This is going to start to build stability and endurance in your lower body. So Robin, try that out. And it looks easy to just kind of see somebody do this, but if you try and hold this for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, a little bit lower, make sure he's getting the, getting the pump in his legs, then it really starts to become a difficult exercise. Once you can hold this for about a minute, then I would say you're ready to progress to an actual loaded squat. So the next exercise I'm gonna show you, Robin can just stand, is a loaded front squat. So a lot of the times people think when they squat, they have to put the bar on their back or they have to have so much weight. I'm really not a fan of that. Just putting a simple kettlebell of 10 pounds or 20 pounds goes a long way. If you hold it in the front rack position, it helps to keep a nice stable upper body as we strengthen our lower body. So I'm gonna get him to hold this here and squat down for five breaths. And this is going to help to increase the strength and stability through his lower body. Robin has a great squat, so that looks good. But these are the types of things that we're thinking about when you come and see us. How are we going to improve the areas that need improvement so that you can be the best golfer you can?